Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be looking at how to do analytics for your web apps. Uh, I personally use Google Analytics mainly because it's free. Uh, I've, I've used it for a couple of websites uh, on my uh, personal portfolio website and now with the daily vocab. Uh, and uh, if you've seen, uh, uh, I'm doing a couple of uh, Instagram stories about analytics for daily vocab and uh, that kind of piqued interests in some of you to do analytics for your apps as well. So today we're going to look at a very uh, basic example of how to do this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show you how you can uh, do a lot more with uh, a certain NPM packages uh, for Google Analytics. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, I have an empty folder here. Uh, I'm going to uh, clone a template that I have for uh, React and uh, we'll wait for that to finish. So yeah, this is my template. Let's do, I'm going to delete that package lock and do npmi. And this is basically uh, a one component uh, React app. Uh, I'm, I'm going to run it for you in a couple of seconds once this is installed. Uh, but the basic idea is this. Uh, you, in your uh, web apps, you want to track uh, which routes um, are being uh, visited, uh, basically to understand what parts of your websites are gaining more attention. And if those are not the ones that you want, you, you probably uh, you can do things to improve those, right? So, right, the packages have been installed. Let's do npm start and I'll show you what the app is. This is a very basic app. I've done a video about this before, but uh, this is basically it. That's just one component. Uh, this says, uh, welcome to React. Uh, I'm going to change a couple of things in my uh, index HTML, mainly the title. Let's say this is uh, Google Analytics uh, test. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's change the um, uh, the welcome text as well. Um, let's just write uh, Google Analytics, or rather my web app. And we'll say uh, it is powered by Google Analytics, whatever. Cool, so with that done, uh, let's see. So this is what it is. Now um, let's try to deploy this. And um, at the time of uh, recording, unfortunately, uh, GitHub, uh, GitHub Actions and GitHub Pages are down. Uh, I'm not sure if that's changed, but let's just quickly check it out. Uh, okay, there are a couple of more things that are still uh, going to degrade its state. But for now, what we're going to do is I have a storage account on Azure setup. Uh, currently, it doesn't have any data there. So we're going to deploy this app on Azure and um, we're going to test, uh, we're going to see uh, how the analytics show up. And um, but yeah, but the idea is this, it doesn't really matter where it is deployed uh, as, as long as you have a public URL with you. Uh, so if you deploy that, this with uh, Vercel, uh, Net, Netlify, uh, all of these steps after it is, are going to be same. The only thing that's going to differ is the way I deploy this. So yeah, so let me bundle this app for now. I'm going to, I have ES build uh, set up. So if I bundle this, you see this folder just got created. And uh, all I need to do is I need to copy this into my storage account, right? So I'll do that. And uh, once that's done, so uh, the files got uploaded. If I refresh this, this is my storage explorer that shows me what files are there in the account. So these are it. Now let's check the web page again. So this should hopefully show me my app. So my app is up on Azure. Now uh, all I need to do is um, start seeing some uh, uh, analytics data, right? So I am, I am on analytics.google.com. Uh, let's create a new, uh, this is called a property uh, in terms of uh, Google's terminologies. So when you sign up for analytics, they're gonna ask you to create an account first. I have an account called Mr. Sarasahu. Now if I add a new property, which is this, uh, let's call it um, template react. That's the name of my project for now. Uh, reporting time. Uh, so when the events happen on your website, what time they should reflect. So I'm, I am on uh, IST. So I'm going to do that. Oh, this is, should have been India, right? 
but yeah this is basically based on your preference and if at all you are doing monetary um tracking you can choose your currency as well and i have a very small one this is for myself and you can choose more um or you can tell google what you're going to do with this data i'm i'm just going to ignore those and just create this property so uh, once this is done uh, you, you you can choose to uh, get your data from um a web app uh, an android app or ios app if you see if you click all of this you can register your app and check analytics that way since we have a web app uh, this is fairly easy uh, all we need to do is pass in our uh, url to the uh, app so i'm going to remove the protocol and my stream name is going to be let's just create a template yeah i guess doesn't really matter and uh, by default uh, this is what is going to be tracked if i create the stream uh, it's going to give me a bit of javascript on how i can uh, basically now that i have set up the stream url i need to push analytics from my web app into google analytics right and to do that there's the g tag the google site tag uh, script that you can use this is this is the basic one there there's uh, couple of other ways to do this which i'll show you in a moment so if i copy this um ideally this should be part of your uh, deployment strategy but since we're doing deployment manually uh i can what i can do is this is my bundle so not my actual code but the generated bundle i'm just going to put this in my head tag save that so this is the main part of this all of this is basically the same there's a script to get the g tag and then the script that runs after it and this is what we uh what's what really matters because this is going to be different based on the uh uh property that you create in google analytics so once this is done uh, all you need to do is deploy the app again and if i what i can do is i'll keep this on a separate window and my analytics page here if i uh, go back to my home and there's a real time tab as well to to see if somebody who are using your app right now currently you see there's there's zero users because we've not even added the site tag to our page right so if i show you my um, uh inspect element there are, there's no script here we've not deployed it yet so uh, what we can do is uh, i'm going to refresh this obviously nothing's going to show up here now if i uh, do the deployment again and wait for the files to get uploaded now if i go back here and refresh this i should see the site tag show up and in a few moments um, uh, the uh, right side the real time overview will also update so let's try just uh, let's try refreshing this and hopefully we should see one user there Cool. So it did show up. So it did show up in the real tab uh, overview section uh, that one user is using it. If I have another device, I could show you. You could probably open it up in an incognito tab. That should probably work. Not entirely sure. Uh, so we've refreshed this page a couple of times, and I'm going to you know, close this. So at some point, it's, it should show up here. but that's the basic idea that's that's basically it that's all you have to do to set up google analytics so now right now you see there are a couple of things that are getting uh, logged right you see a two user show up so the other incognito did work now the things that get uh, uh, put in the dashboard are the pages that got visited right now we just have one route which is slash so it's just showing me the title of that page but uh, if you have more uh, routes all of those will show up and i'll show you the uh, dashboard for daily vocab that should give you a much more uh, much better idea so uh, things like page view how much uh, scroll is being done on the pages all of that get logged and uh, yeah that's that's basically it so i can probably do a video on how to do this through github actions but since it's currently down i couldn't do that today uh, so yeah let's check out uh the analytics page for uh daily vocab but before that let's just check out how to do this with uh 
uh, react so uh, right now what i did is basically put my uh, site tag here and this does a basic uh, uh, sort of analysis for your app right but if you want to uh, analyze custom events uh, based on uh, your specific needs for your app things like uh, let's say you want to check if a user used a certain discount coupon uh, things like that. Those require additional uh, changes to your code. And for React, there's a package called uh, React-GA. And in here, once you initialize with your uh, G tag, which we had in our script, uh, what you can do is if I scroll down to the bottom. You can see you can tag uh, events, right? So, and these will get pushed to your uh, uh, dashboard. So this is for React, but for the other uh, frameworks and libraries like uh, Vue, Swelt, Angular, I think you can use the default analytics package. And this also has a uh, basic uh, similar uh, usage. So yeah, these are the two uh, packages. I personally haven't used them because I just, I find the uh, regular uh, um, site tag uh, scripts to be uh, fairly uh, you know, comprehensive enough for my uh, usage. But if you do want to do custom tagging, you can use these packages. Uh, so also, you, if you want to check your analytics on your phone, you, there are apps available for uh, iOS and Android. And yeah, so these are uh, basically for custom event tagging. Now let's take a look at the daily vocab um, dashboard to see what else gets logged. So you see, uh, the basic dashboard shows uh, number of users, the average engagement, uh, real-time usage in the last 30 minutes. And also if uh, the user is coming from a referral tag or directly to your pages, all of that you can check. Also you see a breakdown by country and things like user activity over time, lots of other things. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where the um, tab shows up on the dashboard on here. Oh yeah, it, here it is. So insights. So these are uh, like um, basically certain insights that Google uh, will try to give by itself things like uh, let's say you have you have your app running for a month and uh, now analytics this dashboard will tell you uh, that uh, a certain referrer like uh, say twitter has high engagement or things like linkedin has lower engagement so because you have somehow uh, added um, you, sh you shared your url to linkedin and when people are uh, you know, your users are hitting that URL on LinkedIn that has a low um, referral rate, right? So things like that will show up in insights. So yeah, that's actually a basic, basic video on how to do analytics, free of cost, of course, for uh, React. And uh, you can do this. Uh, I do this with Sapper apps. Uh, so daily vocab is indeed built with uh, Swelt and Sapper. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you like this video and do let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'm, I'm doing... Uh, building daily vocab uh, in public uh, and uh, sharing uh, the usage on Instagram and Twitter. So if you do have any questions, so uh, you can reach uh, reach out to me. Uh, right. Uh, so see you in the next one. Bye bye.